So, I, hi guys, so I decided to pull the Angel Sanctuary video, previous Angel Sanctuary video, because I I thought I didn't explain the pot very well. I said a lot of things that I didn't like about it, but I didn't describe the plot. So, there are two main characters, um, Setsuna and Sarah. Those are their human names. So, Setsuna is a, um, the inner, uh, organic angel Alexiel, and Sarah is the archangel Gibril, or Gabriel. And basically, Alexiel did all these crimes in heaven, and... Gabriel was in love with um, Alexiel and vice versa, so they kind of made a pact together to didn't want that they would be together or find each other on Earth. And basically the punishment was to continually reincarnate as humans to kind of erase their sins or as a penance sort of thing. So uh, um, in the story, their brother and sister... Um, Setsuna is about a year older than Sarah, so 16 and 15, and they are madly in love with each other. People give them a hard time out of their schools, their parents, their mother especially, who is, like, very conservative religiously. So she's like, mm, you can't be together, so I'm going to take Sarah away, move around so Setsuna can't be with her. But they kind of meet each other. And, um, they kind of ran away. They discover that they were actually angels. And so, eventually, um, Sarah is whisked away to heaven. And so, there's a very much of a plot point of Sarah's in this other castle. Up until, like, the very end where she's in a stasis with, um, the heaven where Metronon is. And I forget what Metronon's caregiver's name is at this point exact moment but so um so uh Setsuna is, is, is like basically running around heaven earth um hell all over the place trying to reconnect with Sarah and at all costs to earth eventually as it's seen as the in the end um the, the one plot that I was really interested in because they made a big deal about it in the, the OVA, where um, one of the characters, one of the side friends that Sarah has, um, finds a, or at least given a computer game called Angel Sanctuary, and it corrupts her to be um, complete opposite personality. So before she played Angel Sanctuary, she was like very mild mannered, meek sort of character, and then when she played Angel Sanctuary, she was the complete opposite. Um, very aggressive, um, very, um, risque. So, yeah, I was really hoping from, coming from the anime to the manga, that there would be more of that subplot, but after the first couple of, um, volumes, that's not really seen again. So, I was kind of disappointed in that myself. Um, I know, uh, a couple of things I didn't like about it besides is that um, I have, like, mild face blindness, so when uh, characters are drawn very similar to each other, and especially when it's in black and white, it's hard for me to distinguish um, characters that look very similar to, to each other. So, on top of that, um, the mangaka, Kiryuki, she... Um, there was a ton of characters. I think at one point I counted six or seven characters. Um, there might have been a few more than that that all had um, names that started with a K. So it was hard, even harder for me to remember who was who. Um, unless they had like some identif identifying like Mark. Um, side example was would be like Michael and his dragon tattoo. Um, I did like Michael and Raphael. I felt like they could have... I would have liked them more in the story than they were. Um, I know it, like, it, with the, the huge... At, by the end of the series, by volume 20, there was a huge cast of characters. And at one point, the manga costs in one of her the editing notes that um, her editor 
said to stop um, adding new characters, and this is about volume 14, 15, 16-ish, where she was relating the story, and she was like, no, I'm going to continue writing as many characters into my story so I can get my story told, which is like, I would rather her have and uh, stick with a smaller cast. And um, also on top of that, with the huge cast, there were some characters that died in, say, Volume 5 and came back in Volume 18 and said, Oh, by the way, such and such, such and such, Sarah is over here. Go over there, Satsuna. And then that's the last thing you saw of them. And it was like, literally 14 car uh, 14 volumes in between the two appearances and then after the last that um the appearance where they said to soon go over here that's the last time you ever saw them in the series period and i kind of felt like with the large cast it could have been managed a little bit better and i do agree with the editor that it was like too many characters especially when she's adding them so late in the in the the series and it's like okay one or two characters fine but when she's adding six or seven new characters over the last four books yeah that's a large cast of characters um i did like the art and i know for a while they were selling the art in color in color books so yeah so i kind of liked it i do like the art the part the plot could have been streamlined while i was actually reading it i was saying to um anime fr friends that i have that it would have been better told if it was in six six volumes all told so yeah that's my updated review about angel six i hope you enjoy